um, and I feel so excited. I feel honored and, and it's such a privilege to get to share a little bit about what's been on my heart, what's been in my, um, in my thoughts and just put it out there and with the hopes that it will encourage you and it will challenge you and that you will feel um, the, the, the word of God today um, do something new in your heart. Um, I, I kind of wanted to share a little bit about what I've been thinking recently and I'm sure many of you can relate. 2020 so far has been an interesting year to say the least, right? Um, and, and if I kind of go and I rewind to just a few weeks ago or, or maybe a, a few months ago prior to the year starting, um, I think about 2019 and the ending of 2019. And then the ending of 2019, I was feeling really hopeful for what 2020 was going to have. I was feeling really excited for what was to come. You know, I kept thinking, oh, it's a new year. And every year for me is always so exciting. I'm always feeling like, oh, it's a new, it's a new start. It's a fresh start, new goals, new pages, clean slate. Like, what are we going to see come to life in this year? You know, um, I, I was feeling really hopeful. And, and, and I remember someone saying, 2020, it's going to be the year of perfect vision. It's going to be the year where we see things clearly. We're going to see them the way God desires um, us to see them. And, and, and it's going to be good, right? And so I was really excited for 2020. You probably were too. Um, and, and, you know, fast forward to a few months into 2020, a few weeks into 2020, and things kind of rapidly started going downhill. You know, those those resolutions and the list and the plans and the dreams and the goals that I had in my mind that I had planned according to my way um, kind of weren't coming to life. You know, instead of losing 15, I might have gained 15, right? Quarantine 15, anyone? Um, and, and instead of being able to travel um, to places like I thought I was going to travel, all of a sudden I wasn't even allowed to travel, let alone, you know, I, I wasn't able to go anywhere. We weren't able to go. There was a travel ban. All of a sudden, we found ourselves in the midst of a worldwide pandemic, right? Where things have been full of uncertainty. And it wasn't about seeing things clearly. It was actually very blurry and confusing and, 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 and very unsure. There was a lot of uncertainty, a lot of unknown. And, you know, I, I was kind of on a walk and I was asking God, you know, this, this year so far isn't going too hot, you know? Things are not going the way that they're supposed to be going, right? And in that moment, I felt this tug in my heart and this reminder of, of how God works and how my plans are, are not even close to his plans. I was reminded of Isaiah 58, that 55, 8 through 9, that says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. I was challenged by the fact that God's plans are so much better than mine. My resolutions, my goals, my plans, they don't even compare to what God desires, what God has in plan for my life. I was challenged a few chapters before Isaiah 55 and Isaiah 43 about the, 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 the Lord and his promise of victory. You see, in, in, in verse 15, it says, I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's creator and king. I am the Lord who opened a way through the waters Making a dry path through the sea, I called forth the mighty army of Egypt with all its chariots and horses. I drew them beneath the waves and they drowned. Their lives snuffed out like a smoldering candle wick. But forget all that. It is nothing compared to what I'm going to do. For I'm about to do something new. See, I've already begun. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness. I will create rivers in the dry wasteland. The wild animals in the fields will thank me. The jackals and owls too, for giving them water in the desert. Yes, I will make rivers in the dry wasteland so my chosen people can be refreshed. I've made Israel for myself and they will someday honor me before the whole world. You can find this in Isaiah 43. And I was so encouraged, so encouraged in those moments thinking, you know, my, my limitations and thinking 2020 has been a year of crap. 2020 is no good. My, I was challenged in that moment because the Lord is saying, Ali, why are you limiting me to my power? Why are you limiting to what I desire to do this year? Why are you saying that you can't see clearly? Why aren't you putting on your goggles that say, Lord, I'm, I am looking with your vision. What do you desire to do this year? What do you desire to do this year in my life? What are the goals? What are the dreams? What are the plans that you want to see come to life? 
not my plans, not Allie's plans, not Allie's list and Allie's goals. What are the Lord's plans for my life? And it challenged me to have that mindset, to put on my glasses where I can see clearly the way that God desires to see through in the way that God desires to, to, to do and work in my life. You know, so often I limit and I get in the way of what God desires to do in my life and how he wants to move and how he wants to use me in certain ways. I get in the way because I have lists, I have goals, I have things that need to be done. And then when they don't go my way, if you're anything like me, when things don't go my way, I kind of throw a tantrum. I kind of in my own way become this baby. And then I get in my way too. And then I get in God's way and I say, let me sit here in my own pity. Let me sit here in my own kind of, you know, oh, it's me, boo, kind of scenario, right? You know, in this moment, when I found myself kind of complaining to God about 2020, I felt him really say, you know, Allie, your thoughts, they don't compare to my thoughts, your way, my ways, they're no way, they're not even close to, to, to the ways that, that, that you've planned. Mine are so much better, mine are so much higher. In fact, I'm already doing something new, says the Lord over my life, over our life today. You know, if I could challenge you in one thing today, if I can challenge you in one thing, is if you've been feeling discouraged, if you've been feeling sad, if you've been feeling maybe overwhelmed about how things just haven't gone your way this year, how it maybe just that stuff that you were so badly hoping to see come to life haven't, haven't come to life. Can I just challenge you that God is wanting to do something in the middle of the situation? Not according to your plan, not according to your will, not according to your own way, but so much higher, so much greater. See, he's already doing something new, says his word. It's already begun. Can't you see? What God desires to do is he desires to refresh you today with the satisfying water that only he can give, the living water. He desires to refresh your soul. He desires to come and take full control of your life, of your heart, of your mind, your soul. He wants to take it all. And his plans, my friend, they're so much better than our plans. His ways, they're so much greater than our ways. If we could just rest in that reality, that the faithful God, that God, the rescuer, the one that comes to, that, that came to heal, the one that came to give us everlasting life, he is on our side. In his vision, it is perfect. And today, he wants us to see through his eyes. He wants us to see what he has done already in our lives, what he is working in our lives today. Don't allow the circumstances, the challenges, and the situations of today's world get in the way of what God desires to do in your life today. His thoughts, his plans, his ways are so much higher than ours. Be encouraged today, my friend. God bless you.